Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, at one point or the other in your 3D journey, you will need to make 3D illustrations. Now, these illustrations can range from motion graphic characters to stylized hand gestures. Making this isn't the problem, but when you consistently have to make different poses, different ethnicities, and probably different sets of characters within a particular genre, it becomes a bit more hectic. But today we're looking at an asset pack from the folks at 3D.Design. Now, these guys have taken it upon themselves to create some interesting 3D motion graphic and UI style design. Now, these is for those who like to make variations from ethnicity to gender, hairstyle, colors, outfits, expressions, and so on and so forth. This is definitely going to come in extremely handy. So with this here, they have already made renders for 800 plus different combinations of things that you can get. And these are not the only things that they have to offer as you can find them on both Gumroad and also on Blender Market. Now within their Gumroad, there are free stuff that you can get. They have the free hands, which you can get. There's also the characters free pack that you can get and also the avatars free pack that you will be able to get. But then if you're looking for something premium, you want to have access to the source file. You want to be able to have access to the Blender file so that you can animate these characters by yourself and maybe even push the boundaries of what you can do and get even way more cooler stuff. Right now, you can go over to the link in the description and check these things out. So from the avatars to the 3D characters, you have all of the possibility. Now, this doesn't just come with only that. At the same time, they have some very cool materials, cool assets, and also a couple of setups that you don't even need to think about creating that they've pre-designed and saved for you. Now, for those who also want to get some very cool 3D library icons, and this is about 70 plus free icons that you can get, you can also come through and get this one. Now, we're going to dive into Blender and take a look at what the characters look like. Now, the same idea floats through that of the avatars and also the hands. So we're going to go over to Blender, take a look at what this looks like so that just in case you want to purchase this, you should know what you'll be getting at the end of the day. Meanwhile, for each of these, you'll be getting about four to five gig of file for render files. So just in case you just need something that you can put into your design app and start creating real quick and you don't want to bother yourself with working with Blender, you can also get access to a truckload of library sets of rendered images for both male and female, very good variations with poses that they've done and kept for you guys. So real quick, we're going to dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So in case you either download the avatars or you download the characters, the workflow is similarly the same. So once you download this, it comes as an asset pack. So you'll be able to see the poses, which are some pre-rendered poses. And this is totally different from the gigabyte of poses that you can play with. And then you'll be able to see the source file. So within the source file, there's a male and also a female Blender file. You can click on any of these and drag them in. So let's take a look at what happens if we bring in the mail file and I'm just going to click on open. And once this opens, first things which you notice is we have a character right here. Now, all of these characters have three point lightings or four point lightings actually. So they have all four point lightings. So your lighting is covered. In case you want to frame this, you don't need to even stress about that. By tapping zero on the keyboard, this is automatically framed. So you can actually just knock things out and get started with whatever you want. Now, at the same time, if you would like to also start playing with how you can control either of these, this one is very, very easy. So all of the things that you need to play with, they exist here. So for example, let's say I want to have an extra shirt. So I'm just going to select that and move this over to this part like so. Then select this other one and drag out. Right now I have myself, let's move this down. Right now I have myself some brand new shirt. Now, if you want to play through and see some of the variations and you want to see what kind of variations you'll be able to get, you can easily get these things happening by simply playing through within the timeline and you can see all of the possible variations that exist. So all of these variations are here and you can start having fun by playing with them. So at the end of the day, it's totally up to you what you want to do and how you want to get things started. But this is not all about it. It actually gets even more interesting. So let's say we are at a point like so and we would like to play with some parts of this model. We want this model to be able to have different poses as it's been promised. 
Yes, you can do all of this. So for this example, first things which I'll do is I would select any of the parts that I want. So for the first part, I would like to select the top. And if we drag this all the way up and go over to where we have the pose library, you can see that we have a couple of poses that are here. We can select any of these poses. So let's extend this one a bit. Yeah, so we can select any of these poses and use them. So for example, I can click on the standing, click on this button right here to get that. And you can see what we have going on there. We can now switch over to the object mode, select the lower part. So for this lower part, I'm just going to select the controllers and then switch back to pose. Now, once I switch to pose, click right here and make sure I hit this button we would now have our character standing. Now, if there's anything you would like to do, any kind of posing you would like to do, you can do these ones here. So I can select any of these parts and click on this button and I can have that pose automatically there. And we can do that for several other parts. So I can do this as well. So if I want to have my character sitting, if I would like these to also be applicable to the top, I can switch this back to the object mode, select that, switch this back to pose mode, make sure I have that selected, go all the way down to where I have the sitting. So let's just have this character sitting with a tablet and click on this button and you see that we have that. So right now we can see that we have our character sitting with a tablet. If we'd like to make changes for the hair, we can also make those changes. You can turn on auto keyframe to keyframe whatever position that you want. And for those who want to grab this character out and start animating this in a different software, or maybe you want to grab this and import it into a different project and start animating it. Yes, you can. You can do all of these things as once you go over to the character. So let's get close to this character. I can select any part I want and I can easily start rotating this. So for this, I'm just going to set this to local so I can easily rotate that. And yep, you can do all of these things. If you would like to also play with the blend shape that comes with them, you can also do some of those cool things. So let's talk about the assets. So now that we've known how we can bring in the poses, we can also do some cool stuff with the assets. So if we want to bring in some extra assets in, if we bring this down, you would notice that we have a collection that deals with assets. Now, all of these assets right here they have poses that they are tied to. But nonetheless, it doesn't mean that you cannot use these assets on different poses, okay? But most of those assets, they have some predefined poses that actually works better for them. So I can scroll all the way to pose eight. And if I click on this button, I can turn that asset on. And I can simply click to take that out. I can click on this other one to get a web page. And this is for those who wants to work with web pages. Maybe you want the character standing above a web page or you want the character looking at the web page. You can use that. And if you want like a suitcase, you can turn this on to get that happening. If you want to have like a mobile phone, you can do that as well. But we're working with the tablet, so I'm just going to turn this one on. So once we have that there, we can rotate our object to the position which we want. And if there is any animation you want to do right now, it's even easier for you to do this. Meanwhile, if you also want to have some sort of blend shape happening, you can add up your own blend shapes or you can work with the blend shapes that exist with this. So they have a couple of blend shapes here. And for that, I'm just going to spin this about to that point so that we can look at this character from this point. OK, and we will take a look at some of the expressions that exist. I can select any of this one here and we can have just this very, you know, simple expression and you can make some sort of very cool variations with this and you can go in and start dialing things up and down. If you want your character to have some glasses, maybe you want to change the hair, you can also do the same. So I, we can punch this over to that part and then we can make sure that we hide these other one. So now we have a different character altogether. If we want to give the character some glasses, so we can make changes. We can also select these other one. So let's grab this and make changes like so. So depending on your use case and what you want, you can do all of this. For shoes, you can make changes to that. If you want to make changes for the shirts, you can make changes. And then speaking about the shirts, you can also change the materials of various parts. So let's say we have our model like this and I simply select on one part. We can go all the way. So let's drag this up. We can go all the way to the material and we can make changes. So I can select any of the material I want. Maybe I need a white turtleneck and maybe I need a different color here. So let's find something that's for the legs. Let's go ahead and take a look at some materials and we can make some changes like that. That's not so cool. So maybe we can make some changes like this and yep, you have something cool to work with. So depending on what you want for your motion graphics or for your motion styled stuff, 
this is definitely going to come in quite handy we can also make changes for the hair as well so right now we have some very cool hair and in terms of rendering you can also get the most out of it so if we press zero on the keyboard you know we have this framed and we can simply select the camera which we want to work with so let's actually bring this down select the camera that we want to work with and if we tap g on the keyboard we can simply move things back and forth now if you like to also position this camera to your liking yes you can you can also select and move this and frame your shots however you want it to be and probably you'll be asking what about the background you can also take a look at the background so if you close this up and you look right here you will notice you have a background so we can turn this background on and there is already a predefined background for you so rendering this is very easy and let's take a look at what it looks like in eevee so once we turn on eevee we can start seeing the rendering in action now for most of you guys you may want to be like okay you want to change the lightings you want to change these things very basic stuff yes you can so you can select any of this and you can start making some changes and getting a very cool result out of this now for those who are looking for you know some extra hand gestures and stuff these things are here and you can grab out the hand gestures and start using them for your illustration and those looking for icons that you can use some free 3d icons let's take a look at the 70 plus icons that they have here you can see all of these cool icons you can you know use them for your next motion graphic design so for both motion graphic designers and also ui designers these things are definitely going to come in very very handy especially if you want to create characters you want to create hand gestures which is kind of crazy because most of the times you would also want to be able to create things like the cloth you would like to texture these all of those problems are gone you only need to get a tool that can easily get those things out of the way and then you can focus on the art instead of focusing on the technicalities of getting things done in the first place so in case you want to get this link to both the gum road and also that of the blender market is going to be in the description although the gum road seems to have most of the contents that you'll be needing and blender market seems to be coming up very very you know slowly but for sure if you want to get this link to the gum road and also that of blender market is going to be in the description for those who like to join the discord the link to those is going to be in the description so you can check these things out tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace